Welcome to another Three Minutes with Russ. We have exciting things to talk about this month and share with you. And we thank you for all that you do for our organization. Well, we're here on location in Baltimore, Maryland with uh, Senior Program Director Solomon Hedgerica. Solomon, thank you for having us. And just what would you like to tell us about the Residential Reentry Center? The Residential Reentry Program is located in Baltimore. We have about 5,000 feet. Uh, for settlement. Uh, we have a uh, director, two assistant directors. One is in charge of residential treatment and one is in charge of the uh, facility operation. Um, in residential aspect, we have six case managers, two social service uh, coordinators, and one employment specialist. We have six residents get jobs, get all the treatment program and while they're here. What's, what's the typical length of stay for a resident that comes out of federal prison? Over the course of the year, we have about six months to a year. Maybe you can speak just briefly about the, the ex-offenders returning to their communities, why this is such an important program for them. Coming from my background as a former warden, I know reentry is essential a component to what we do in prison. Uh, this program, I'm excited when I saw this program, that eventually this is a resident will be coming back to society and it's good to give them the equipment, give them the tool they need while they're still before they come out. How do you like the CEO for Volunteers America Chesapeake? The guy talking to you. I'm very, very excited. <laughs> and, uh, he has I'm excited to talk more about the expansion plans here at our residential reentry center in Baltimore, Maryland. As I've told you before, we have signed an agreement with Future Farms, a Canadian-based company who's going to work with us to develop the first vertical farm here in Baltimore. What's exciting about this is this will create 20 to 25 jobs for the residents that are currently in the program here at Baltimore's Residential Reentry Center and allow them to get some therapeutic value as well as create an economic means for them and skills that they can take when they leave this to really relate to culinary type of training, uh, to working in restaurants, and maybe even become farmers. So we're excited about vertical farming, and we'll give you more in the next three minutes with Russ. I'm really excited about the ministry plans for the next several months. Here are some of the opportunities for you to participate in. We have a prayer breakfast in Northern Virginia, which is Wednesday, March 15th, 2017, at Marymount University in Arlington, Virginia. Another prayer breakfast will be held here at our Residential Reentry Center on March 21st, and we're excited to bring the Baltimore community together. And then the final prayer breakfast is in Prince George's County, which will be Friday, April 14th, and be held at the Ark of Safety Church in Upper Marlboro, Maryland. And finally, our staff spiritual leadership training days, the first one ever, will be on Wednesday, June 7th, at the Veterans Center in Silver Spring, Maryland. These are wonderful opportunities for you to come and worship and to pray for the goodness and the delivery of service we have for Volunteers of America Chesapeake. In closing, I just want to say once again, we give everything to the glory of God, and I thank you for all that you do for Volunteers of America Chesapeake.